Welcome back, trainers, and we're going to be bringing back the Meta Wrecker Mall. Wow, Shadow, let's get it. So we're not going to really be sticking to any sort of specific team here. We may use the same team a couple of times, but I'm going to be rotating a few of the Pokemon throughout this entire video just to have a little fun here. Seeing that we are in the lower ranks right now, we don't really need to be too concerned about consecutive wins and maybe just have a little fun here, uh, but not go too wild. Uh, so if you do not have a Shadow Mall WoW yourself, do you want to invest in a regular one? Well, before you do that, if you haven't already, you know, it's pretty good. We all know this in certain situations. But I'm going to tell you personally, for this specific season, Mawal has been getting, I don't know, wrecked <laughs> a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit harder to use, uh, the shift in the meta here, but there's definitely a Pokemon out there that are going to get demolished by it. So don't give up on it quite yet. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here up against the Galarian Stunfisk. I love this matchup, or an Earthquake will take us out in one shot, so we always have to be uh, careful of that as we do go down here, as I say that. No more shield on either end, so I mean, yeah, uh, there was uh, nothing else we can do. Bringing in the Shiftry here and going for that Leaf Blade, taking him out while building up a little bit of extra energy here. We do have a Jellison in the back, completely full on health, so we don't really have too much to worry about. Going for the foul play and just doing a nice chunk of damage here. Shiftry is always a reliable Pokemon. A little squishy, not a little, very squishy, but it hits extremely hard. So we're going to go ahead and bring in this Jealous and go for the Bubble Beam and take out the Skarmory here. Like I said, I am a day behind because I did do my battles for the Kanto Cup on the day of Season 1. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but it doesn't matter. In for the next battle here up against the Alolan Ninetales here. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, I am going to be shielding this up because I do want to kind of preserve my health a bit here. Seeing that they didn't necessarily swap. So we're going to go ahead and swap as they do too with that Ninetales. They did retreat it with a little bit of health left. We are down a shield and we're up against an Azumarill here. Now, we do have Play Rough down the line. I do believe I'm going to be switching it up to Hydro Pump. And then putting it back to play rough, but we're not going to see me doing that part. So just trucking on here, we're going to go ahead and let this go through. Hitting us with a play rough, getting us a little bit low, but still not feeling too threatened to use a shield at this point. Going for our own play rough here, and they're about half. And let's see how this plays out. So we have one to one shield. They did swap to see if they can try to catch that charge move, which I, I you know, they almost did. I'm not going to lie. You saw me. I tapped on it, but the bubble went through. So... Yeah, that, was, that would have been a nice one there. Anyways, they're going to be going to take us out. We're going to go ahead and let that go through. No problem. Looks like we're going to be rolling with Sir Fetch this time, which is actually going to have Leaf Blade and Night Slash on it. Of course, counter. Going to be bringing in the Mawile here and trying to finish off this Azumarill. Unfortunately, ah, that wasn't enough. How annoying. So we're going to have to shield this up here. What is in the back? A Politoed. So this isn't looking the best here. So we're just going to obviously go for the Leaf Blade. And beautiful. As long as we got that shield, we're going to be looking great. Iron Head is going to be resisted by water, but Politoed is shadow here. So we should be able to... Oh yeah, we're absolutely able to take it out now. No problem with an Iron Head. So we're going to be going down here. In comes our Mawile with a bunch of energy and just going straight for the Iron Head here. Hitting those bubbles in a weird way and taking the win. Oh well, the Azumarill had a, one more Fire Fang to finish it off. And there we take the win into the next battle here. Let's see what we're going to be met with in a bomb. Oh, well, they, I mean, this is like probably the best it can get. Obviously, they're going to be swapping into their Azumarill here. And we're going to go ahead and go into our Tropius. Like I said, we, you know, we're having a little fun here. Wanted to roll with them all while really wanted to use Vigoroth with it, with it, but it's not going to necessarily be the best combination with the all while and a Vigoroth on the same team here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for that Leaf Blade here. We are going with Air Slash for the quick move. And in comes the Obama Snow. We're doing super effective damage with our quick move, and we're actually able to get to a Leaf Blade here. It's resisted, but damage is damage. And we're getting a shield because it could have potentially been a Flying Charge move. And they're going to be going in here with their Alolan Marowak, and then we're going to just swap right into our Zoomerol, and then back out. We take the win here, moving it along nicely. Mawile is putting in some work here. We're going to be met with a Kangaskhan, so I need to get out of here instantly uh, because of the quick move as well as the power up punch is going to get stronger and stronger, doing a lot of damage. And of course, they have an Alolan Sand Slash, which is going to be massively resisted by my Tropius here. So we're going for the Leaf Blade. I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> simple as that. I mean, 
nothing else really to do here and absolutely going to let this go through we're not going to shield any of this up going to go ahead and go in here with the mall while and start farming it down so watch how much we do because of that steel and ice we're able to take it out with just a couple of fire fangs they're beautiful as well as farming up and they're going to be coming back into the battle with a whiz cash here so i'm thinking to myself how am i going to pull this one off with the kangish Khan over there as soon as we swap they're going to swap too we're going to go ahead and catch this with our zoom roll, which is pretty nice preserving the shields here now this battle is actually going to be pretty interesting because we hold on to our shields until literally the bitter end so they're going to be bringing in this kangas con here we know power punch we know crunch a could have had outrage but it is also going to be resisted so we don't need to shield anything up at this point getting a shield out of them the first one and we're going to be going for play rough now definitely Want to get that stab, want to do more damage, let's see if they want to shield it, and they do! We're swapping into our Mawile because this is the only way we can make this work at this point, as well as not shielding. If you're thinking, what are you doing? The Azumarill has, what, what, like 20 HP, or maybe not even that, like 15, like something like that? Why are you saving your shields? You're going to see here. So we're bringing in the Azumarill, farming down, in comes the Whiskash with no shields left. The quick move is really not doing much at all. I was getting nervous that they're going to be able to actually quick move me down. So we're going to get this play rough, play rough, play rough off. And one more bubble, we take the win and with the shield left. Getting a little close there, a little comfortable. Into the next battle, we're leading with Mawile the entire time for this video here. Don't have the longest video because I do have some other teams lined up. That I don't want to quite show yet so we'll take a look at those tomorrow so they're going to go ahead and swap after we did use a shield we don't want to get hit by that weather ball bring it in that snorlax I'm calling a body slam here and that's exactly what it is building up a little bit more energy and swapping into swampert here now we're actually going to be going with swampert and driftblim and I actually found this team quite nice with the mawile don't think I've ever used this team in its combination together with it all right, so we're going to let that go through, building up to another Hydro Cannon here. That Snorlax is going to be taking a lot of damage. Beautiful, but we can't necessarily quick move down unless they do something here. All right, never mind. Even if it was a superpower, that would have taken us out, so I don't know what I was thinking unless we shield it up. So they're going to be bringing back in that Cherum, and we're going to go straight for the Power of Punch. We have a lot of energy. We're going to be able to vamp up that Fire Fang, so there goes one. We get a shield. And at this point, we're just vamping up that Fire Fang to do even more damage. And unfortunately, they're getting to a Weather Ball. It was going to happen. We're simply going to let it go through. Why? Well, we're just going to go ahead and go in here with the Drift Plim and start farming down. We don't have to worry about anything. Weather Ball is neutral. It's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to do some damage, but it's nothing threatening here, especially with the Shield left. What are they going to come back in here with the Snorlax? And I'm like, ah, I can't farm it down. You know... I just don't want to take more lick damage. A, a matchup up against Snorlax is great, and to be honest, um, I didn't know if I made the right call in swapping into to Swampert instead of the Drift Blim when they bring in their Snorlax, but it worked out nice at the end. And we have another horrible lead swapping into Drift Blim here, and they're going to be going into their Galarian Stunfist. Now, this is fine. I did screw up by not going for the Icy Wind sooner, so rip and waste of a shield. Man, I'm making some bad calls sometimes, but it is what it is. You can't play perfect all the time. Getting off that Icy Wind, dropping their attack, dropping it again. And now we're going to be safe from any sort of Rock Slide. Obviously, they're not going to go for Earthquake. Rock Slide is the only thing that they should go for. And there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Not even into the yellow. Gotta love it. And that Quick Move is just doing nothing at all at this point. Going for another Rock Slide and we don't have to worry about the Quick Move. Building up a bunch of energy here so we can have something ready to go for the next Pokemon. Taking out that uh, Galarian Stunfisk comes the Politoed. We're going to go for the Weather Ball here. And they do not shield. This guy did not want to use the shield and calling everything that I was doing. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and let this go through. We still have a Swampert and a Mawile. But, uh, you know, technically it's not the best for us, but, you know, we're still in a decent position here. So we're going to go ahead and let this weather ball go through. Still holding on to one shield, building up to the sludge wave and going for the hydro cannon. Can we get a shield? I would assume so at this point. No, they're still holding on to it. Okay, braving it up. So we're going to go ahead and let this go through as well. Putting all of our hope into that mall while here. Hopefully we have something that's going to be able to match up with it nicely. We're getting a shield out of them and swapping... To catch this weather ball, and, yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. They're gonna be going into a Shadow Vic, and the Mawile says, hello, how are you doing today? We're gonna go ahead and take that thing out as soon as possible, and 
Firefang down the Politoed. Let's go. Thank you, Mawile. Into the next battle here. And this is going to be the last battle. And finally, we have a stinking good lead. They're going to be swapping into a Mew. We're going to go right into our Swampert here, starting to build up that Hydro Cannon. And I'm expecting them to have, I don't know, Surf and Wild Charge, potentially Wild Charge or Flame Charge. All right, so we're getting that shield out of them. Beautiful. Also getting one through. And they're going for a wild. So they build up to two wild charges here. And it looks like they want to hit me with another one. I think I do want to shield this up, as a matter of fact. And farm down. And let's go. We're, look, watch this. We're barely going to get to the sludge wave from the shadow Venusaur. I, that was incredible. I thought I was going to go down and waste energy. We're getting that last shield, which is perfect. And we do have two Pokemon we could enter the battle here with, no problem. And they're going to be instantly swapping into that Galarian Stunfist. We're going to go and start powering up, power up punching, and start vamping up that Fire Fang. You already know what it is. And I think I do shield this up. Yeah, we're called the Earthquake. Beautiful. Now we're going to be able to finish them off here. And they're back out. GG's. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.